All right. For this particular video, I'm going to show you how to create a weapon, a custom weapon, that will shoot a projectile that will teleport the player to the position of where the projectile expires. I'm going to expand on the game type that I used in the last video. So you'll see the HUD, but I disabled the tick function so the bar graph won't uh, disappear. All right, first things first, let's create our weapon. So right click on class, go to add new item. All right, we're going to, I'm going to call this our teleport gun. So we'll do teleport gun. Actually, I'm going to add tutor in front of it. So tutor teleport gun. All right, I'm going to hit add. And you can extend it from a couple of different weapons. The one that I'm going to use for this video is the UT weapon rocket launcher content. There it is. Rocket launcher content. And what I'm going to do is just edit the default properties for this. So first thing I'm going to do is change the max ammo count to 10,000 so you don't have to worry about running out of uh, ammo. And that's it for now. We're going to change what the weapon projectile is used so it actually teleports us but we're going to create the projectile first. So go back, right click, add new item. Unreal script file. I'm going to call this one Tutor. Let's do teleport projectile. So proj. Hit add. Alright, and I'm going to extend it from the shock ball, which is from the shock rifle weapon. And I'm only doing this because I like this, the way that the shock ball looks. If you can use any of the projectiles because they all explode, but I like the way this one looks. So. Um, the way that I do this is extremely simple. Um, you can expand on it and have it to where it only works if you shoot, um, if it doesn't hit anything or it hits specific surfaces, but that's way more detailed and not for this particular video. So in this video, we're going to keep it simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the destroyed function. So we're going to type simulated event. destroyed with no parameters and then add the brackets and then all we're going to do is change the instigator location which is the pawn the person who shot the projectile instigator dot set location and then in parentheses we're going to set it to the location of this particular projectile so you're just going to put location because it's a vector of this particular class so it's going to set our instigator location to the location of the projectile when, it, when the projectile is destroyed. But before we use it, I'm going to change the lifespan as on this particular projectile to one second on the float. Because if you don't, it's going to fly forever. It's extremely hard to uh, predict. You can change these values later and you can actually look up the values by pulling up what you're extending from. So like right click, go to declaration. And there's a whole list of all kinds of stuff in here. Um, not going to go into all of it, but all you really need to know is that we're rewriting the explode function from the top actor that UT projectile is from. All right, so we've got a projectile. We've got our weapon. Now, in the weapon itself, you have to change the projectile that's being used. And in this weapon launcher you can see let me find it the weapon projectile right here we're going to copy and paste this you can actually write it out I'm just going to copy and paste it's the same thing so we'll copy and paste this to our teleport gun and change the projectile class that's used from UT Proj Rocket to our tutor teleport projectile. You can rename them whatever you want, just make sure that it's actually linking to the proper class that you're using. Alright, so 
I've got the projectile, or I've got the gun. We're going to hit build. We're not going to hit play because you actually have to attach it to the actor in UDK for it to work. So I'll show you how to do that next. All right, so we've got successful build. We're going to close Unreal or Microsoft Visual Studio. And then we're going to open UDK. Actually, that's the wrong one. You gotta open the editor, not the actual game. So we'll go UDK. There we go. And before you can use this, you have to attach it to a player. You can do it a bunch of different ways, but the way that I'm going to do it is in uh, Kismet. I opened the wrong map. So. That is not the right map, so we're going to ignore this. So we're going to go to tutorial level. Alright, close. Close. We're going to delete this because it's not supposed to be on here. Okay, now, in UDK, open Kismet. Alright, I'm going to attach this weapon via level loaded from a new event. You could do it a couple of different ways. Like you can set pawn, get inventory which is what we're going to tie it to. So we'll do level, and then we'll do new event, pawn, get inventory, actually, I lied. We'll hit this little button, give inventory. We're going to give the inventory, not get it. So when, on the beginning of the level, tie it to in, and then on your inventory list, you're going to hit this Add New Item button and change the item you're going to give it to Tutor Teleport Gun. So we have it there. And then before, actually, let's hit Play first. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to add a target. Yeah, so it doesn't load the gun. Alright, so go back into Kismet. Right click, New Variable, Player. And then uncheck all players. Actually, leave all players. So just tie your target to all players. If you're making a game with multiple low or multiple players, you can change that to whoever. You can set it to a weapon, pick up, whatever you'd like. But just for the sake of the video, we're going to set it like this so you can see it. So we're going to minimize. We're going to hit play. And then we're going to shoot. And voila, we teleport really simple way to do a teleport gun and it works pretty well you can mess with it if you'd like and it works on when it hits stuff but it does not work on the ground so there's a way to fix that I'm not going to go into it in this video but there you go if you want a simple teleport gun to mess around with in UDK there you have it thank you for watching my name is Alex Macon and that was my video